Ready for a new style? Call Double A Salon in Wheeler Springs Plaza, 775-764-1898. The world is at perilous point in this pandemic. We have just passed the tragic milestone of 4 million recorded COVID-19 deaths, which likely underestimates the overall toll. Some countries with high vaccination coverage are now planning to roll out booster shoot shots in the coming months and are dropping public health social measures and relaxing as though the pandemic is already over. However, compounded by fast moving variants and shocking inequity in vaccination, Far too many countries in every region of the world are seeing sharp spikes in cases and hospitalization. The virus is showing us right now that it's thriving. This is not theoretical. We're not talking about a what if situation right now. We're not talking about preparing for a surge. It's happening now. The virus has a hold over us right now and we need to regain control over this virus. We would ask governments to be really careful at this moment, not to lose the gains you've made. Uh, to open up very carefully. Uh, we've seen over the last six months, case after case, country after country, in which there was a lot of increase in social mixing without adequate vaccine coverage, and we've seen wave after wave of cases. Um, I would hope that in the European environment we won't see a return to the overwhelmed hospitals and the exhausted health workers. But that's not a given. This virus is evolving. This virus is changing. Uh, and we need to be very, very careful at this moment so that the gains that have been hard won by the behaviours and action of our population are sustained uh, and that we gain the benefit collectively of all of that effort. So individual behaviour and government support to that behaviour, extremely important. And I would urge extreme caution in <clears throat> the complete lifting of public health and social measures at this time um, because uh, there are consequences for that.